Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about uh, the project folder, how to set it up and how to use it. Uh, I wanted to put some theoretical tips uh, at the end of this series and then we are going to go into uh, modeling uh, a whole interior scene uh, after these couple of lessons. Uh, let's start with the project folder. Now the first thing I want to uh, tell you is uh, you need this toolbar uh, opened. There's another way to access the project folder uh, comments. Uh, it's under file, project, uh, they're all here. But if you have this open, it will be easier to follow, I guess. To open this up, you need to right click on anywhere on this toolbar, uh, toolbars. Uh, but I recommend you to not to right click on uh, any of these buttons, but in an empty space, just right click. And you need this projects toolbar to be active uh, to see this. Okay. And if you uh, can't open this up, you can always go to file project and use any of these comments. Um, now I will explain what they do. Uh, now, first thing is, uh, if you want to create a default project folder, which is I, uh, which is the uh, method I use, I always create a project folder, uh, a default project folder. Uh, sometimes add some extra folders to that, but uh, mostly I use the structure, the default structure that comes with Max. So uh, the button for you is uh, this create default button. Uh, right now we uh, are under a project as you can see, but we will create a new one for the purposes of this lesson. I'm going to just hit create default and then I'm going to go to my projects folder and here I'm going to right click create a new folder. Uh, I want to call it uh, 0121, uh, which is um, uh, January uh, 2021, which represents that. And then I'm going to uh, leave a dash and you can see that that's my um, template I use all the uh, projects or create all the projects with this template and let's call it um, project folder sample I'm going to go into that uh, folder and click here which is select folder well now uh, that you've done it you will see that let me bring the Windows Explorer up and you will see that under this folder now we have a whole uh, set of folders uh, that is created and th some of these have subfolders like if I go to Cena sets you can see that we have a bunch of new folders under there as well. Uh, probably you won't be using all of these but I use most of these uh, to store uh, some reference images or whatever. Uh, I'm going to show that to you in a minute but first I want to uh, tell you uh, which of these folders I use for what. Uh, and the first one is for archives. If you want to uh, transfer your um, project scene or folder uh, with all the dependencies, all the reference images and whatever uh, textures and stuff, uh, then you can create an arch uh, archive in here. Uh, I'm going to show this to you in the end of the lesson, but the button is here, File, Archive. Uh, for me to show this to you in a better way, we need to assign some uh, textures or uh, some reference files, and I will show that to you in a minute. And for example, under Previews, I dump all my previews in here. Uh, let's. Uh, I have downloaded a preview from uh, Google, uh, which is a reference image for a sunglasses uh, for example if I double click on this you will see that this is a front view image of a sunglasses and I usually keep these under preview if I want to assign a texture I use scene assets images I use this folder I put all my textures under here and uh, you can see that there are a of bunch of different things as well. And I uh, put my renders uh, to render output. And then this uh, I can easily uh, archive uh, or transfer my uh, project to a fellow uh, 3D artist. Okay. Uh, and so you can see that now that it's created. Uh, by the way, under scenes uh, we will put our max scene files in here, but 
Um, as you can see, we don't have any yet. Creating a folder doesn't mean uh, creating a project folder doesn't mean saving the file as well. So what you need to do is go to File, Save, as always, or Control S, and you can see that, which is very cool. Uh, it takes you directly to your project folder. So it's less hideous uh, to search for them in uh, Windows Explorer. Uh, if you keep all your files in here, you can just go up and uh, reach any of these folders real easily, real easily. And let's uh, save this as scene one. And now if we go to the project folder again, uh, scene folder, you can see that our max file is saved in here as well. Okay. Uh, the second thing I want to show you is uh, under customize preferences, there is an option. Uh, if you go to the file step, there's an option called convert local file paths to relative, uh, which means if you click this, um, Max will search for your reference images or reference files according to or the address according to this file in here. So um, let's say you have a file under scene assets. Uh, Max will always search for uh, my root folder, go up, go to scene assets, go to images, and I'm going to search for your uh, scene assets or images in here. Uh, this is very, uh, this makes things very easy to transfer, but only, uh, let's be, uh, be mindful about this, but only if you are using this project folder setup. If you are not using this, if you keep all your textures under textures, for example, let's find some textures, let's say we have our uh, images in here, then uh, this will work a little bit glitchy because uh, it's going to look for this absolute, uh, it should look for this absolute path in here, which is G render pro textures gold, for example. But if you copy this from here to the, let's do that as well. If I copy this from here and go to my project folder, go to scene assets, go to images, and paste it here, then you can convert your file system to a relative system. Uh, it will easily find this even if you move this project folder to uh, another place in your computer or uh, if you transfer this to another computer, for example. Okay, uh, so click this, check this, but uh, only if you are using uh, this project folder setup. And I do that, I use this project folder setup, so I recommend you to use that as well. It keeps everything more tidy and um, actually working, while working, even losing five or 10 seconds to look for a file will uh, take your toll uh, from you on the long run because you will always like keep uh, assign textures and changing them and creating new materials with new textures. So even if it saves you like 10 seconds, uh, in the end, it will save you a lot of time uh, when it adds up, I guess. And also it, it creates, uh, generates less frustration to uh, not search your files, I guess. Okay, now let's create a plane from the front view. I'm going to hit F and create a plane. Uh, by the way, I use two viewports uh, always. Uh, I will talk about this uh, in a later uh, tutorial. And let's move this to the origin and just assign the sunglass reference image to this plane. Um, by the way, again, we, we are going to go through this uh, in a different tutorial, but uh, you, you always should keep this aspect, the dimension aspect uh, of the image to the aspect of the plane you are using. Uh, we should be, uh, it, which should be uh, 1405 to 1800. So let's do that as well. 1405 to uh, 1800. I know that this is quite big, but you can just scale this up and down. Uh, you can use a reference box for this. I'm going to talk about this, so uh, let's leave it for now. Let's uh, just keep the dimensions like this for now. Now, uh, because we have assigned this from uh, our project folder, it will always remember where it is. And if you transfer transfer this, then you won't have any problems uh, whatsoever. If this image is uh, not from here, let's just get rid of... Oh, sorry. 
let's just get rid of this image I'm going to delete that uh, then you will have problems previewing it because Max doesn't bring this in which is uh, called raster in these type of programs uh, Max doesn't raster these images you can raster these images there's an option for that but it's not recommended uh, because it blows up the scene uh, uh, size and uh, it it's a little bit uh, tedious to work in large scenes in 3ds Max because it takes a lot of time to save them it takes a lot of time uh, to navigate in the view uh, viewport for example so I recommend you to use this as uh, it's meant to be uh, let's bring that back if you go to your recycle bin then you can just right click restore and when you go back to Max uh, you will have your sunglasses in here uh, maybe it doesn't update quickly but we can just bring this file in and just show yeah uh, I guess this button should be clicked okay so uh, this is a uh, this is the right way to I guess uh, in my opinion it's the right way to work in 3ds Max with project folders you can change your project folder from here by the way you can switch to a different uh, folder by the way if you uh, don't change your project folder uh, you will see that uh, it uses user user documents uh, 3ds max 2021 uh, uh, and you can just go there and work on that as well but I re really recommend you to create a new folder because each time you're working it will write over these uh, f files and it, it's not good uh, you should have a separate um, project folder uh, one cool thing about project folders is uh, I guess it uh, it should be there now let's check it there's a uh, folder called auto back if you go in here yeah it's uh, it already has one auto back up um, even if you don't save your files uh, hit ctrl s or whatever max always grabs these auto backup files uh, and it's under your project folder auto back uh, as i told you if you don't set up your uh, project folder then it should be under documents uh, max folder and auto back it should be in here uh, but for now let's uh, use these uh, the uh, frequency and the number of backup files are uh, customizable and to do that you need to go to customize preferences uh, under general you will see a uh, sorry under files again you will see a uh, box called auto backup and in here it's enabled as you can see uh, and you can see that you can change the number of files you want to uh, back up and also you can see that you can change the uh, save auto backup frequency from here right now it uh, saves every five minutes sometimes I bring this up because uh, if you are working on a one gig uh, file for example then it takes a little bit, a little bit of time like one minute for example to save and then it will be tedious uh, very hideous actually to work um, with a five minute backup frequency so I bring this up to 20 for example but for now with a small uh, scene file uh, you should keep this I guess at five okay uh, so this is a very uh, a different very cool thing uh, you can uh, utilize with uh, project folders as you can see uh, now the last uh, second to last thing I want to show you is when you assign a texture for example I could have a box in here uh, representing the ground plane and let's say we have a material for that I'm not going to show you how to create a material for now but I uh, I'm, I will use a wood texture that I found online uh, I'm going to put that in uh, scene assets images and I'm going to bring this in uh, let's say you are using this again this is uh, just like a reference image this is a an external reference and it should be um, transferred with the scene file if you don't want to lose this when you hit render otherwise you will see a black uh, object or gray object whatever um, if you don't have this image set up correctly so it will it should again be under scene assets images or you can rename some of these or you can change uh, create new folders or whatever uh, but 
start with the existing ones, I guess, then uh, as you use them, uh, you will see how you need to change them better. Uh, another uh, cool folder I use is the export folder. Uh, when you use uh, external programs like ZBrush uh, or Marvelous Designer, uh, uh, Substance Painter, whatever, you can save your files in here as well. Uh, so that when you transfer the uh, folder, uh, they should be transferred as well. And again, another folder called proxies. If you want to create proxies, you can put them under here. Uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, how I work with uh, project folders. Um, this is how I set them up. And these are the properties that I use with project folders. I hope these were useful for you. If you find them useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.